Hello everybody and welcome back to the YouTube channel. We're so happy that so many of you are viewing our videos. So here we are again. Uh, this story is about how you can go about your career in a way that is going to keep you going through the hard times. Because you're going to have some hard times out there. It ain't all easy in this business. So uh, just to give you a little bit of a background, this story is going to be about my favorite personal photograph. And this is the photograph here. This is a picture of my daughter, Grace, when she was about a year old, and uh, my good friend, Lindley Edwards. So this picture has quite a story to it, and it's one of the keys that turned my career around a little bit. So here we go. Uh, back in the 90s, um, my late lovely wife, Cindy, she was a manager at a diner, and I was just starting out in my career, and you know, finances were really tight. And uh, photography being the business that it is, it's very competitive. And when you're first starting out, it ain't easy. You know, I was just a bloke from Nottingham. And uh, I'd been on the cruise ships for a while as a photographer. And I got off the ships and I'd met Cindy on the ships. I actually met her on the love boat, if you can believe it. And um, we got together and, and we started living in Miami. And uh, we, we were struggling a little bit to start, to begin with. And, uh, you know, we were looking for any opportunity that came along. So Cindy was um, a manager at the 11th Street Diner. And I was trying to uh, find assignments for magazines, uh, that kind of thing. And, you know, the, the checkbook was looking a little, uh, should we say, in the red. So, uh, you know, <laughs> you go through these ups and downs in life. And, um, but one thing that happened here was uh, clearly gave me a, a different sense of direction. So we got an opportunity. The owner of the diner, his name is Ray Schnitzer, he's still a friend of ours today, and um, he met with the, the actor, the Oscar winning actor, Michael Caine one evening in, in South Beach. And uh, Mr. Caine there had been running restaurants in, in, in London and they got to talking and uh, they, they formed a partnership and they decided to open a restaurant in, in South Beach. It was called the South Beach Brasserie on Lincoln Road. And so suddenly, uh, Cindy went from the manager of the, the diner to be the general manager of Michael Caine's restaurant. And uh, that was a very fortuitous thing for the family because my daughter Grace had, had just been born and, uh, you know, it was, it was nice to have a little bit of extra cash coming in, but I was still struggling with my, my photography. But uh, I got a bit of a lucky break, and uh, they asked me to take the photographs of the architecture and interiors of the, of the restaurant. So I said, oh, thank you so much, this is great. So I'm a little nervous, you know, because um, you know, he's Sir Michael Caine, and I'm this bloke from Nottingham with uh, no reputation, really. And, uh, but he was a pretty generous guy, and extremely charismatic. And um, he, he says, uh, well, yeah, go, go and take the pictures. Then we'll, we'll take a look at them, Robin, you know. So I rent myself an expensive camera and uh, get the best film I can. And I, I spend like two or three days getting it right. And a couple of days later, I get the photographs back. And, uh, you know, I think, oh, these, these are looking pretty good. And anyway, Michael's sitting outside with a whole entourage. And I have to go show him the photographs. And I'm like beyond nervous, you know, shaking in my boots, really. And I go over to him and I said, Mr. Kane, I've got the, uh, the photographs here. And he starts leafing through them. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, shit, I don't think he likes them. And he says, uh, yeah, Robin, um, you know, I'm not going to pay you then for these photographs. And my heart sinks, you know my face turns to stone. But then he says, but you can eat and drink for as long as you like here, for as long as the place is open. <laughs> I'm like, really? He says, yeah, really. And I think that might have been one of the best deals I ever struck because for the next three years, I ate and drank at the South Beach Brasserie for free. So he really liked those photographs. So the next thing that happens is I've, I've become friendly with the host there, and uh, his name's Lindley Edwards. He's a charismatic fellow, and uh, he did a tremendous job as the host. And 
He was also very photogenic, and I said to him one day, you know, Lindley, I'd really like to take your photograph. Why don't you come to the beach with me? So the next day, we pull off to the beach in, in South Beach there, and uh, I bring my daughter along with me. She's only a year old at the time. And I said, Lindley, uh, go into the water, and I want you to jump up and down, and I'm going to catch you with all those little droplets at 2,000th of a second. And I've got my Nikon F3, and, but I've got this nice little lens with me that I've just got. It's a Nikkor 50 to 35 3.5, really sharp. And I'm using that lens, and I get these really interesting pictures of, of Lindley jumping out of the water. But the next thing he does is he races out of the water, and I say, Lindley, roll around in the sand so that the sand sticks to your back. So he starts rolling around in the sand, and the next thing he does is he picks up my daughter, and my daughter peers over his neck, and that's when I took the picture, right then. And uh, I knew I had something that was interesting, but of course it was Ilford XP2 film, it wasn't a digital back, it was probably 1998, something like that. And so it takes me a couple of days to get the pictures back. And uh, I get the pictures back, and I'm, I'm pretty excited. So I, I go over to the South Beach Brasserie, hit my perch there at the bar, order myself a Boddington's and sausages and or bangers and mash, as they call it over there. And Lily comes over, and I say, Lily, here's the, the pictures. And we start leafing through them. And uh, I says, oh, Robin, these are, these are really good, mate. Congratulations, thanks so much. And then out of the corner of my eye, I, I see... Uh, Sir Michael Caine coming over and I'm like oh shit you know, I'm really nervous because I've got these pictures here and I'm sitting at the bar and he's coming to talk to Lindley about something and uh, he says uh, uh, well, okay boys well, what are you looking at you know so I said oh shit I'm going to have to show him the pictures you know nervous as can be I, I gently show Mr. Kane these pictures and he says cool blimey Robin that's a great still photograph now I'm not a still photographer expert but these are very cinematic mate what a moment that was my confidence went from you know under the ground to the top of the heavens just because this one movie star had uh, told me something about a photograph of my friend and my daughter, you know, it was like, wow, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm pretty good after all. So uh, after that, um, you know, I have to um, find out, you know, what's the next way I'm going to make some dosh, you know, because things are still tight. So uh, it just turns out that the folks that had developed the film, they, they're at Tropicolor on Alton Road, they're owned by a couple of... Uh, friends of mine Tom and John and they say Robin you know when we were printing these pictures we thought that maybe um, you, you'd like to do a, a little show here I said oh, thanks very much that's really kind of you and so they, they put up four or five of my my photographs and uh, after a couple of weeks you know nothing is happening and I'm thinking oh you know maybe they're not, not very good after all and then I get a, I get a phone call from Tom and he says uh, Robin we've, we've sold a couple of your pictures Manna from heaven, I can pay the rent, you know. And uh, he says, and it wasn't just anybody. You're not going to believe who bought them. I says, well, who was it, Tom? And he says, well, uh, Rosie O'Donnell bought your pictures. I couldn't believe it, you know. It was like, that was the confidence boost I needed at the time. And uh, I, I guess my message through this story today is that, you know, when you get down on yourself, you know, you've got to look for any opportunity that comes along and then you've got to clutch it. And then you've got to use that confidence as your DNA in your photographic memory. And you've got to put it in there and you've got to build up your confidence so that next time you're meeting with a client, you can come at them, not from an arrogant point of view, but from a place of real confidence in your own work. Because if you don't have real confidence in your own work, nobody else will. So, if you like this channel, and I hope you do, um, maybe you can subscribe, or even better, leave a comment, and let's start a conversation, because this is called, uh, you know, let's chat about photography, and we'd love to hear from you about your own adventures. Uh, thanks for listening, and uh, 
My name's Robin Hill. Safe journey out.